Well, hi, and uh, good morning. My name's Tim Lloyd. I work for uh, Magnet Shorts. We're the designer and manufacturer of... Can you uh, speak up a bit, please? I'll do my best. <laughs> We're the designer and manufacturer of the Electro Kabuki system. Um, we've been manufacturing this for five or six years now, and um, uh, it's been used widely throughout the uh, world of major events and staging companies. Um, in fact, uh, for reveals and scene changes where, in fact, any drop um, that has to be on cue and 100% reliable. Um, Magnet Shorts has chosen Plaza to uh, launch the Electro Kabuka 2, which is uh, an enhancement of its predecessor. Like its predecessor, it delivers a faultless reveals, but is, has uh, new enhanced innovations such as double drop capability, uh, continuity checking of the cabling to ensure there's no breaks or damage to the cabling system, uh, safety tab monitoring. The system has a, uh, a safety tab system that you can check fire the unit prior to the actual release to make sure all the units are working correctly. So we monitor the position of the safety tab. We have a LED uh, status indication on the bottom of the unit now that tells you, gives you information as to whether the safety tab is on or off and also whether there's a break in the connection or the cabling. Uh, also, it's been redesigned into a, a rugged nylon 6 body which is much lighter uh, and more effective than the previous, previous metal version. Uh, the EK2 it's also an innovative firing unit which displays the feedback from the Kabuki system onto the actual control panel, giving the operator the confidence that uh, everything is ready to go. Um, the one thing that people struggle with with reveals is confidence that it's actually going to do what it's supposed to do at the moment they push the button. So we've added this feedback information to uh, help allay any fears about uh, the unit doing what it's supposed to do. Um, the other features that we have included in the firing unit, not only is the feedback on the cable information, feedback from the uh, safety tab information, but also uh, we have an option to switch from single firing to double firing and into a DMX mode where it can be added to a uh, conventional uh, DMX universe. The solid blue, the solid blue LEDs indicated on the front here indicate whether the unit is ready to fire. And once you've got a solid, three solid blue lights on the front, you turn it to the arm stage where the, the firing button lights up, stating it's ready for operation. You then have the choice of either selecting both circuit one, circuit two, or switching into DMX mode when it's attached. So the idea is that you push the button, the first curtain drops into view, if, uh, and then the second uh, requirement maybe is to drop it to the floor. So we can do that manually or via the DMX control. Um, When we switch from the, the checking phase into the arm phase, all the lights, LEDs on the underside of the units go out so they don't light the stage. It's one of the features or the feedback we have from some of our customers. They don't like LEDs on on the stage if, uh, if there's no uh, during the actual performance itself. Um, so just to recap on the um, innovations between EK1 and EK2. We have a four wire system, two reveal in one installation, where we can fire up to 200 uh, electro kabukis in one go. We have the safety tab checking to make sure that all the units are in the correct position and ready to fire. We have the end of line feedback to make sure the continuity all the way through. We have a new rugged uh, injection molded body um, and also, because the system works on a permanent magnet, it has extremely low running costs. You only use electricity 
when you need to fire the unit. Um, that's the end of my uh, presentation. I'll just uh, do the reveal for you, yep. and I'll take any questions after. Sorry. <laughs> so, if anybody's got any questions or want to see the uh, the firing units. Um, are there any green um, benefits of the material you're using? Is the plastic recycled? Is it recyclable? It is recyclable. Um, we were recycled. using a um, stainless, stainless steel, nickel, black nickel plated stainless steel body in the previous version. Um, the magnet we use is uh, an electro permanent magnet, so it only requires power for the split second that we do the reveal. So it's not burning. Um, energy all the time it's sitting up there it's sitting up there cold and not drawing any electricity yeah doesn't run hot apart from the LED and that's on only on for as long as you have it in the test mode so you can see the LEDs have come on now etc also I can show you the safety tab checking so we put the safety tab on which is supposed to prevent it dropping so we can use it for a test firing we get a flashing light on, on the underside here, and we get a flashing light on the box here. If you were to, there's a, the end of line unit is the green one at the end there, and that's just to, sending the signal back and forth to make sure that there's continuity. If I disconnect one of the cables, the LEDs will go out at the point where the break in the cable is. So if you're going to check, you can actually see immediately when you're in check mode where the problem is, where someone's either forgot to connect the unit or it's been cut or broken or when it's been moved. Is that a different unit or have you just told that one it's the end of line? It's, it's a separate unit, that's why it's got the green LED okay. and it's you only connect from one side so it's, it has to be the last one in the line. It doesn't matter whether they're circuit ones or circuit twos, you just wire them all together. So um, historically when people wanted to do a double drop they'd have to run two sets of cables up install two sets of kabukis and have two firing units. With this system we've integrated them both into one. So how do you know which is um, Because the actual units themselves are marked um, either on the back with a label or stamped on the front whether they're circuit ones or circuit twos. So when you're in... Sorry? When you're rigging before you've got any power on the stage it's obvious to stage hands that the which versions which yeah quite often you put the uh, circuit ones at the front and the circuit twos at the back I put them all on the front just so that everybody can see them but some people will just do a single drop so that the curtain will be up at the beginning of the show and they'll just hit the button and it will drop and in that mode you can use them all together turn it to firing both and they'll all release at the same time it's just uh, the, the the, the, the wiring inside. Right. So circuit one has a pass through on one on pin on circuit two, right. and circuit twos have a pass through on pin so one. Nothing they're, wrong, they're wrong. They're wrong. Yes, they're set at the factory. You can't readdress them or uh, change them on site. So you're both sides. Both sets of wire, or one wire and then the other wire. Oh, um, it'll drop anything from uh, a feather uh, to 50 kilos on each individual one. Look outside, uh, water, rain, the, more waterproof. Yes, they are. They're, and we've designed uh, the system from the start to be weatherproof because um, historically um, we've heard of people using products outside, putting plastic bags over. We're horrified. It's a two four, two, uh, 230 volt system, so it needs to be safe. And this is one of the reasons we originally designed the EK1, was to prevent people using another one of our products inappropriately. Um, so the systems are weatherproof, it has a um, IP rated military connect, circular connector for being... It's, it's, I think it's 65. But we, we, we turn the whole system weatherproof because some bits are higher rated than others. The firing unit has been designed to be IP rated as well. 
might be 54 to 65. So uh, the idea being, it, in theory, it can go out in the pouring rain um, or um, withstand moisture in you know, cold nights in the desert and things like that.